What's up guys? So I know you've asked me how to create a study space in the past and today I was gonna show you my room, but I'm gonna switch it up because literally last night my roommate Martin, who was back there, yo, changed his room around and I think uh, his idea for a study space is actually better than mine so I'm going to have him show it to you and walk you through it in this quick video. Because I like, do an interview. Because like obviously I need to say more than it's basically two tables with a shoji screen. Yeah. What's up? That's it. Actually, you could literally do that. All right. Well, before I had actually tried to separate this out so there was a gaming table and a work table also, but they were on opposing walls. Mm -hmm. The problem then was that I still like I knew that I was in the same room. It felt like one room, and I wanted it to feel like it was a completely separate space. So there was a bit of mental separation between work and play. So you got one desk here, all the gaming stuff. What else is over on this side? Over on this side, we've got uh, all my books. We've got a guitar in the closet, some Pokemon stuff and the thing. Basically all sorts of non-focused, non-productive things. So this is like a completely separate room almost. Yeah. And, and like, it, it feels like a separate room when you get in here. The shoji screen in the middle really makes a big difference, I think. I, I legitimately feel like I'm entering a different room in the house, mm -hmm. even though I know I'm just a foot away from my other things. Where'd you get that thing? <laughs> I stole it from my friend Clyde. Yeah, you did. But you can get it on Amazon as well for 50 bucks, I think. All right, so this is the roost stand. Mm -hmm. It is meant to raise the screen because ergonomically you want the top of your monitor to be at your eye level. Okay. Now what's cool about this is that it's extremely portable. It's freaking cool. So you can bring it with you anywhere, to a cafe, to a library, to your friend's house if you need to do work, or a hotel. I've mm -hmm. done work in a hotel. And then we've got this keyboard stand, which is basically just a keyboard stand, but it's got these real rubber parts so it won't slide on your pants. And you can pull out a slideable mouse pad so that you can work with the screen at the correct level and your keyboard at the correct level for your arms as well. So basically like you're not even using the table to work on at all. No, you could you could take this off of the table and put it on something literally just a little square in front of me and it would mm -hmm. work just the same. And because this has adjustable height, it's incredibly flexible. Oh, it's awesome. I can work anywhere. So what else I have on the desk? I've got my noise-canceling wireless headphones over there. This Moleskine notebook, which I've just got a daily schedule that I wrote out this morning mm -hmm. so that I could pay attention. I used to do that in Google Calendar, but I found that checking my phone every three seconds to check Google Calendar was really distracting, which is why my phone's way over there, okay. not being touched. So I've got this whiteboard up on an easel, and I basically use this. Right now I've got some simple habits and things that are sort of a template for my daily schedule mm -hmm. that I'm writing out, like put somewhere to read, put somewhere to study Spanish. And on this one here, I write down ideas. If I think of, I need to do laundry, I need to run this errand, but I haven't scheduled it in today, instead of letting it completely throw off today's work, I put it here and then schedule it in tomorrow morning. Why whiteboards on whiteboards? Because... Like, are you exhibit or something? Because I can take this off and go plan things somewhere else if I need to. Occasionally oh, okay. I use this for, if I'm drawing in the other room, I'm planning out like a web thing and I don't want to be in here. Oh, that's cool. So, it doesn't need to be on here, but it's a good place to store it. And you clearly have a message that doesn't like never leaves your whiteboard. Oh yeah. So what is the story uh, so behind this thing? I had my girlfriend write "Don't overthink it" on there because overthinking it is probably my biggest weakness. Because I will spend just hours and hours trying to solve something, and I could have done something that worked within the first ten minutes. If I get caught up, say I'm editing a podcast and I get caught up on a single vocal pause that I can't remove, like a. Uh, I will just remember, don't overthink it. Nobody's even gonna notice that vocal pause. Just leave it if you can't get rid of it. It's That's fine. smart. So I get I get the the markers, I get the eraser. Yeah. What are the bead things? The bead things have been useful several times. The most recent use of them was I tore up a piece of printer paper into a bunch of pieces, wrote down ideas, attached them with magnets so that I could slide them around the board and rearrange them any way I wanted. That way I could determine what order to do things in, what uh, you can connect them, drawing lines between them and writing things. It's just 
good for brainstorming. We've got a couple more things. We've got, uh, I've got a Zafu here for meditation. I've got a glass teapot and some teacups because I'm super zen. But that's pretty much it. I just did this because I've been craving that mental separation between work and play, and I don't have enough to pay for an office right now outside of my house. So guys, that about does it for this video. Just wanted to give you a quick look at Martin's room, which I think is set up in a pretty cool way. And additionally, if you don't know, Martin is my co-host over on the College Info Geek podcast, where every single Monday we take three of your questions and answer them in a half an hour Q&A style show. So if you want to subscribe, and if you haven't done so already, cigpodcast.com is the URL you can go to, but I'll also have it linked down in the description below. And if you want to subscribe to this channel and you haven't done so, you can click right there to get new videos every single week, both on desk tour stuff, we're gonna do one in my room pretty soon, and on productivity tips and uh, other tips that can help you be a more effective student. You can also click right there to get a free copy of my book if you want, and you can smash your face onto your phone screen right there or click, either one works, to see another video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next week.